All right, in today's video, we got a really cool kit from Scalia Motorsports. And what this kit does is it elevates your shaker a little more than three quarters of an inch to give it a more aggressive look. So it takes your shaker from this to this. And we're gonna cover the installation, what's included in the kit, and any other information right after the intro. All right, so today we've got another Scalia Motorsports invention here. It's a shaker lifter. Lifts your shaker approximately three quarters of an inch. To me, it looks like more because it's a lot higher than it was previously, but uh, it works and it works well. Since I don't have a shaker anymore, which I'm still kind of sad about, I'm at my buddy Angry B64's house. Check him out on Instagram. I'll drop a link in the description below. His car is so clean. I mean, he's got white exhaust tips. Another thing I found crazy is when we removed this shaker cover, it was absolutely spotless underneath. You're going to notice some of the covers on the engine with the hexagons and even the half covers. Those are all from Scalia Motorsports. He's got some nice accents from Billet Technology in there. Overall, his engine bay is absolutely gorgeous. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do this install. Let me show you what's in the kit first before we get started. So in the kit, you're going to get a brand new gasket. Since we're raising up the shaker, you got to make a shorter gasket. This gasket is trimmed and cut perfectly to fit and notched out for the bolts. For the hardware side, we've got magnetized spacers with new bolts and they are numbered like the numbers on a clock to make them easier for placement. And then a little set of four caps to cover those existing shaker bolts just to black them out and make them look pretty. All right, we're gonna fly through this in high speed. You're gonna start by removing the four bolts in the four corners of the shaker and then remove the shaker cover Put it somewhere safe. On the shaker base, you've got four bolts and one nut. You're gonna remove these and their washers and set them off to the side. Just a quick note on the nut there. This is the 392. On the 5.7, it has a bolt just like the rest of them. As you can see here, we laid out the spacers just like the numbers on a clock. 12, three, five, seven, and nine is a standoff as you can see where we remove the nut so there's a standoff underneath there that extends the nut and it's got the nut and the washer on top the rest are just bolts and then you're going to bring back the original washers that came with the shaker all right before we pop off the shaker base we got to remove the clamp that holds the air intake hose in place and again just set it off to the side someplace safe all right, so now you're going to screw in, just lightly thread the magnetized spacers. They stick really well to the shaker cover, but they recommend screwing them in a little bit just to hold them centered in place. So do this for all of those. And don't forget, they're worked out like the numbers on a clock. You got 12, you got the three o'clock, you got the five o'clock, the seven o'clock, and of course, the standoff in the nine o'clock position. With all the spacers in place and the bolts lightly threaded, we can now bring the shaker cover back on. And the first thing we recommend you do is reattach the air intake hose and tighten down that clamp. Now, with it installed, you're gonna notice we have it offset to the left just a little bit towards the driver's side. And the reason for that is even at the factory shaker height, some cars have that bolt rubbing up against the hood in this area. It doesn't do it on this car and it didn't do it once we did the install, but just to be safe, we took Scaly Motorsports recommendation of sliding the shaker over just a tiny bit offset to the driver's side. And this way, if he decides to romp on it really hard, there's no chance of it touching. Plus Scalia Motorsports includes those nice rubber caps that go on top of the shaker nuts for further protection. As you can see, we removed all the bolts and we're reinstalling all the bolts and that one nut with the factory washers in place. All right, next we're gonna remove the shaker seal and we're gonna replace it with the new shorter seal. Oh man, I found a little dirt right there. So the shaker seal, real quality piece, already notched out and cut for the bolts and um, when you install the gasket, start at the rear center, or that's how Scalia Motorsports recommends to do it. 
uh, we found that you know if you pull it too hard you may misalign some of those notches so as you work your way around just keep an eye on the notches if the notches are off center it's not because they're cut wrong it's we found that we just maybe pulled it a little too hard and as we backed it off and pushed it forward again everything kind of lined itself back up again so just be mindful of how much you're stretching the gasket as you're putting it on to make sure all four of those areas line up with each other. We noticed that the gasket covered the weep hole in the front of the shaker that allows all the water to drip off. Um, Scalia Motorsports recommends just pulling back the gasket a teeny bit in that area, but we decided to go ahead and just cut a notch in there. While you're cutting the notch, just be careful you don't cut too deep and cut down to the metal um, grabbers that hold the gasket in place. All right, and now we're gonna crank it up to really high speed just to finish this job off. One of the things I noticed that it was a really good quality piece of rubber with a nice, very strong plastic grip in the bottom. Uh, so strong that we actually had to use a rubber mallet to get it to bite in all the way and, and conform. And not because it was not fitting properly, but it's one of those things that kind of, you know, bites in. It didn't do any damage to the paint. So he has a custom painted shaker, as you can see here. As we worked our way around, sometimes we had to back it off and we didn't notice after hammering it on any damage done to the paint. Here's a quick comparison of the size between the original shaker gasket and the new one provided by Scalia Motorsports. And we're down to the home stretch. Just pop the shaker on, put in the four original bolts that came with the shaker and finally drop on the four beauty caps provided by Scalia Motorsports with the kit. All right, for the fun part, closing the hood, making sure everything fits. A little bit of fear, of course, but as you can see here, everything looks good. Nothing's touching, nothing's rubbing. There's still some space. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a good slam. And there we go, nice and high looks legit no more space around that shaker and what i'm going to do from here is i'm just going to kind of drop a background track and walk around and try and capture as many angles as possible if you're interested in picking this kit up you can grab it from scalia motorsports i'll go ahead and place a link in the description below along with our discount code that's five percent off that runs pretty much all the time now those of you still paying attention he's got a short term 10 percent discount on this specific product i'll drop that in the description below as well all right, I'm going to shut up now and just give you as many views as I can of this new product.
that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to gently press that like button. If you're stopping by for the first time, check out my other content and consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.